stormed outside the house of Senator Langat. Mr. Speaker, media reports are there. Senator Langat is being, his house is being surrounded by over 20 police officers. At 3 in the morning, Senator Malala called me, and I updated immediately on my Twitter. Mr. Speaker, Senator Malala's house, Mr. Speaker, is being surrounded by four DCI vehicles and over 20 police officers. Senator Lelekwe, on his way to these chambers of this house, was arrested, Mr. Speaker, on Riverside. I am shocked. I am shocked that Senator George uh, uh, Ayako, Achila Ayako, Mr. Speaker, would even contemplate to say he has no facts when those are three close senators, one of them deputy minority leader in this house. Can he call Mr. Speaker and confirm if these facts are on this, uh, Mr. Speaker, true? People of Nyamira to come here and defend my duty under Article 217 of the Constitution. Even my life, my soul, my blood, all my organs will fight to defend the Constitution of Kenya. And I'm telling you, I'm a senior counsel in this house, Mr. Speaker. I'll go to all courts, whether they take Lelegwe to Mandera, whether they take him to Samburu, whether they take him to Lord, wherever he will be taken, I will be there as his advocate, Mr. Speaker. And we want justice, Mr. Speaker. What is this, Mr. Speaker? We are talking on a day when this government is telling us that over 43 billion shillings have been stolen from COVID money. We are no longer debating county revenue sharing formula at all. We are now in the realm of politics. Mr. Speaker, sir, the reason why I'm supporting this adjournment is number one, it is true, we need to think about our colleagues. I support that. Number two, I also urge our colleagues, that interim period, please, we become sober. We ask yourself, how come we have now changed position? How come we are no longer looking at issues objectively? We are now looking things from a political point of view. I believe that it is important that uh, the, our colleagues' whereabout is established so that if really uh, they, are, they have been forcefully taken away, then that is problematic as we cannot vote under threats or intimidation. He said the most potent weapon of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Let us not sit here as honorable, distinguished members and see our colleagues suffer. Senator Lelekwe is a brother. Senator Langhat is a brother. Senator Malala is a brother. And it doesn't matter whether we agree. We normally disagree here. But today, if I do not stand here and defend them, I will not have a face when I go back to my county. But when you are digging a pit, Mr. Speaker, Dig small ones and the long ones, because you never know which ones that you fall in. So even as the police you are trying to exercise or abuse authority given to you, kindly know you are working against the will of your brothers and sisters, and parliament must be left to make decisions for this country and on behalf of the people of Kenya. And it is painful to have a government that doesn't see or doesn't have the feeling of the people.